Old Hammer fans rejoice. You can now paint like it's 1994 again with Warcolor's Nostalgia 94 range, which is designed to recreate the colors and feeling of the Siddle paint range of the late 90s. Since then, miniature paints have made quite some progress, so I'm curious whether Nostalgia paints can keep up with modern paint ranges or not. I'm Stardy from Tale of Painters and this is my Nostalgia 94 review. War Colors are a small paint manufactory from Cyprus, which have quite a few critic paint ranges available, like the Nostalgia 88 range, which is designed to match the first gen Siddle color paints in the round flip tops from the late 80s. Now comes the Nostalgia 94 range, and this range is modeled after the Siddle color paint range from 1994 in the hexagonal pots. So far, the 10 colors from the original paint set are available, plus a set of glazes, with the rest of the range following in the curse of 2023. The 90s Citadel color starter set in the red box with the Space Marine and Chaos Warrior was the first paint set I ever bought when I started the hobby and I used these Citadel paints for years. For example, to paint this classic rhino, which I was so proud of as a young lad, that I had to immortalize it in this Christmas photo. Please tell me in the comments whether I was the only one who snuck warmer molds into family photos and with which paint range you started with. So I'm very familiar with the ups and downs of the 90s Siddle paint range and I was very eager to give the Nostalgia 94 range a try and see how they measure up. The first thing I notice is that the paints come in dropper bottles instead of pots. While the Nostalgia 88 range has the classic flip top pots, the 94 range has dropper bottles instead. I think that's good, even if it's less authentic. It's just my personal preference, but I like dropper bottles better than pots. Especially in combination with the wet palette, I think dropper bottles are much more practical, though I know pots have a lot of fans as well. Each bottle of paint contains 70 milliliter for an RRP of 3 euro 50, which is not too bad considering these paints come from a small manufactory. With Nostalgia 94, War Colors promise that they match the labels, smell, feel and consistency of the original line. Like the old Siddle paints, the colors are very pure and bright, but they are also thin and cover rather weakly. Even over white primer, several coats are needed to create an opaque base coat. I also found Mithril Silver quite hard to work with, but I remember my original Mithril Silver was pretty much unusable as well. Flash Wash is a rather heavy and glossy wash with a lot of tint, so I recommend adding some contrast or Lamian medium for thinning. On the plus side, the paints don't separate much, even if you leave them on the wet palette for a long time and are ready to use after just a quick shake. The consistency is rather thin and together with the moisture of my wet palette, I usually didn't need any further thinning. The colors apply smoothly, but as they dry quite quickly, you still need to be a bit careful so you don't leave visible brush marks. And what about the color match? War Colors promises a match of at least 95% to the old Citadel colors. I still have two old colors in my possession and here I compare the original Enchanted Blue and Bronze Flash with Nostalgia 94 variants. Both Nostalgia colors seem a touch lighter, but in general they are close enough and match the colors as you remember them from back then. Most importantly, the Nostalgia 94 Goblin Green is also immediately recognizable as the classic hue of Goblin Green. Though, as my buddy Juan Hidalgo found out in this video, the match isn't 100% either, more like the 95% that War Colors promise. Before I share my final thoughts of the Nostalgia 94 range, why don't you smash the like button, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos and reviews. You can also support me on Patreon for exclusive tutorials and resources, such as my hand-painted color chart that covers all major one-coat paint ranges on the market. Thanks a lot and now, what is my opinion of Nostalgia 94 paints? I think they emulate the feeling of the old Siddle colors really well, with all their strength and shortcomings. The paints are rather thin and of weak opacity, but very vibrant just like I remember them to be. 
If you are an old-timer enthusiast and want to experience the authentic feeling of 90s miniature paints, then Nostalgia 94 might be the perfect product for you and I'm happy to see them in circulation. But if you expect the hues of yesteryear, with the updated formulation and high opacity of modern high-quality paint ranges like AK 3rd Gen, Pro Accrual, Two Thin Coats or the new Vallejo game colors, you will be disappointed. But to be fair, that's not what watercolors promised as they specifically designed them to feel old school. So I would give the paint itself a 5 out of 10 and watercolors a 9 out of 10 for bringing these classic colors back, which adds up to a 7 out of 10 for the total score. If you're interested in old school paints, be sure to check out my review of the new Vallejo game color range. Many of the colors correspond to the Siddle color range of the 2000s and the quality of the regular acrylic paints in particular is fantastic. You'll find the link to the video here on the right. Thanks a lot and happy hobbying!